know what y'all are thinking. Um, yeah, no, we're surprised too. I haven't seen this guy in like four months, but here we are. Yeah, don't worry about the other two guys. <laughs> they're, they're, they're doing their own thing. Yeah. Anyway, since uh, we took this wonderful opportunity here, uh, ECS, I'm CSE. Today, it's not going to be really that big of a topic. We're just going to keep running down what y'all need to take for your following semester. This is for uh incoming freshmen sophomores really anyone that's just getting a head start you could be in like fourth grade watching this man hey shout out to you bro good job getting that head start exactly competing with you guys for my internship right now straight facts anyway okay so those of you that are coming in as a freshman applying for Texas a this is kind of like a general uh general course plan i mean this was specifically for cscse yep i know a lot of you guys want to do that so this is specifically for those of y'all out there who are going for that anyway so um our freshman year was a little something like this so we took we took some core curriculum classes and there are a few requirements you have to do to be in general engineering applying for the etam process that we covered in our first video which y'all yep. should definitely check out and um uh, so let's run that down. So what do we do first? Oh, uh, we're gonna talk about uh, Math 151, Calculus. Math 151. Those That's the calculus you do in high school, so it's not too bad. Could be Math 151, could be Math 1076. I don't know, man, where, where, whichever college you're going to, that's what it's all about. Anyway, I had text saying it was Math 151, that is Calculus yep. 1. You can, uh, for those of you that have AP credit or IB, I think, but regarding AP, if you take Calc BC, you can get rid of that class. I but. personally recommend, even though I know a lot of you guys are smart, probably able to skip it with those AP credits. I think you should take it because if you haven't heard right now, uh, you need a 3.75 now for entry to a major. So everyone trying to do computer science or any computer engineering, you're definitely going to need to make sure you get as many A's as possible. And I'm telling you, man, that that whole, I don't know about you, man, but like, I, I mean, everyone did pass fail and they got in. Yeah. So now, <laughs> I wouldn't really skip these classes because these are like GPA boosters. So I'm saying if you're like good in calc and you can, you think you can do it again, like, yeah, man, go for sure. But otherwise, like... I'd say, I'd say uh, play it safe because uh, without that 3.75, everyone and their mother wants to do computer science and I think it might be uh, impossible without it. Big facts, man. I mean, all right, so we got we got Calc 1, 152. Oh, we got 152, which is uh, 152. That is Calc 2, two. which specifically if you're at Texas A&M, I highly recommend skipping. I made that decision. This man, unfortunately, did not. Don't worry. Uh, it's... I'm not gonna say it's not as bad because I that really? would be kind of biased because I'm pretty good at math, but I would recommend if you can skip it. Really? What 152? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for for me, for me, I, I'm not trying to flex or anything, but I, I think you should skip it if you can. I am in it. Hey man, stop it's, it's not a flex. Man. Let's chill out. Let's chill out there. Don't scare yeah, them. I'm just playing. Anyway, yeah. So we got 151. I'm sorry. We're really unorganized here. We're just throwing out random stuff. Exactly. Okay. After 151, what do we got? We uh, got... I, I don't think like chemistry, I don't really care to talk about it considering we're specifically trying to talk to these uh, CS students, oh, yeah, computer okay. engineering. So basically, if you're running down, uh, you have to take, at specifically at Texas A&M, there's other than 151, you have to do ENGR 102, which is basically like a Python class. So before you enter that class, I would recommend that you know Python and um, I think Python is really it. Python. Python's it. And then there's uh, ENGR 216, 216, which is physics lab. So it's ENGR slash physics. It's mostly group work. So as long as you have a good group, it's not too terrible. Not too bad. Recommend you still know Python for it because there's a lot of scripts you have to run. But a hey, look, like I said, these big terms and these these might all seem intimidating yeah. at first, but take it from me. Don't worry. I knew zero going into this. And I still knew zero going into Yep. And it's good. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, other than, I mean, I think you can get a pretty good idea. We, we're going to uh, link the course catalog down in the description uh, just for your CS, CSE majors, uh, the most recent one. Uh, so basically you can take a look at the classes, go by freshman year, you can go by the degree plan, really. I mean, like other than ENGR, the CALPS, and uh, you have to take two sciences. So like we said earlier, you have to take Chem 107. I'm so sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, I'm sorry. And, I'm even more sorry about uh, Chem 117. And yeah, um, 
I'll have fun with that. That's uh, fun. I mean, I, I mean, if you like chemistry and you liked it in high school, like, yeah, go for it. Just, yeah, I'm nice. gonna be honest. If you really like chemistry, I would suggest doing chemical engineering over computer science because uh, engineering 102 uh, is just all Python. It's not too bad, but at the same time, I still struggled with it. And look at where I am. <laughs> I mean, hey man, look, you know, it's good, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, I think y'all can do it. Anyway. So we got we got 102, we got uh, 151, we got well, we, we covered physics, yeah physics. physics 206. That is mechanics. for those of you in high school. Yes, that is mechanics. So if you were if you didn't have that opportunity to get a, well in Texas, I believe you need a three to get. Yep. You get that would be a physics C for people in high school. Yes, physics C. Hey, if you're in high school watching this, you better take both of those AP exams because <laughs> man, uh, yeah. honestly, study more for the E and M. Yeah. That's definitely yeah. more useful for yeah. you to skip. Yeah. <laughs> take and mechanics. Take mechanics, take your credit. I took my credit for mechanics and man, life was so easy. And that brings me to another thing. So when you take the, when you take AP classes or you've already taken them, you know, you can take them at like a community college, your choice. When there's room in your schedule, I highly recommend, this is a little bit more of something that no one really like talks about. I don't see many videos on YouTube talk about this because um, apparently you have to follow the degree plan. But like most of the, most of the uh, degree plan is simply, it's just a plan of all the classes you have to take. That's so once true. you've like figured that out and you have space in your class, I recommend taking all like the, the super hard weed out classes, get them over with, with AP credit or community college. But when you have space, even as a freshman, start taking those sophomore CS classes, man. I'm telling you right now, take those sophomore CS classes because for those of you that haven't had experience in work, um, that haven't, you know, like, uh, been like, you know, you haven't had an internship yet your freshman summer or your summer before you had no work experience. Um, it really shows companies that you have been, um, you've been taking those classes and learning about like, you know, in CS, like we can talk about data structures and things like that. So, um, make sure you stick with that. Get those classes done as soon as possible. That's my one advice. Um, my opinion. Yeah. Too. Remember guys, the degree plan is not something you're forced to do. You do whatever you want. As long as it gets done, it doesn't matter when you do it. You take those classes ahead of time, your life's gonna be so much easier. You could graduate in three and a half years. Yeah, that's really, true. If you really, if want, you really to. want to. I mean, if you're not, um, if you're not doing any like minors or anything like that. I mean, that's your decision. CS people, CSE people, uh, East, even ESEN people that are watching this. This is specifically for you guys. Um, I recommend taking as many CS classes as you. Honestly, can. I feel like an underrated strategy, maybe. I mean, for Texas A&M specifically, first year in general engineering, we're forced, like we're not really able to take any of our major classes because we're not in our major yet. But an underrated strategy, like when you do get in your majors, actually like I think taking some of your core curriculums, whether that be your histories or your government classes, I would recommend taking them as late as you can and take all your like major specific classes earlier so you have more knowledge for potential internships. Telling you right now, man, they, they want to see it. They want to see that community. yeah better do that because like you can do government or history or whatever you want like you can do that whenever you want later and it won't really have like apply to you like you won't need that knowledge for the internship if you do if you if you're truly looking at internships and you want that work experience get those classes done during uh well okay freshman year summer for those of you That's true. predominantly it's usually sophomore year summer that you guys it's usually your second year summer that y'all get uh, internships but if that's not a case you can of course uh you know do classes during the summer get as many done as you can I know take that. advantage of freshman summer take advantage that's yeah. the one that's one that's summer one of the got. times where you got you can do it and i mean if you can't if you were like me like i did texas government over the summer and if you, if you yeah i did business writing so so if you if you don't want that then hey man like you can you if you don't want to do it if you don't have time during the summer if you got break Take that winter mini master. Exactly. I know three, three, three weeks. I know a lot of people have questions because like I, I, this wasn't a thing in high school. Oh right? yeah. But three weeks mini masters, um, they're intense. They are intense. Actually, but, isn't it two weeks now? Uh, it's two weeks at a, it's two weeks at A and M, but at oh, uh, okay. community college, it's that's uh, true. It's about three weeks. I'm in one right now. The same one he took over the summer for six weeks. I'm in one for three weeks. Hot flex. Anyway, dot. <laughs> uh, Three week mini masters, don't be scared of it, man. At the end of the day, three weeks, it's just, you're just kind of like getting it over with. It's faster, of course, you're gonna have to work. But uh, my advice, just, hey, get get all those non-major classes out of here. Get, get, get all the government, 
mean, if you're not if you're not doing chemical engineering or any science yeah. engineering, get chem out of the way, get physics out of the way, and focus on those CS and ESIN classes. Yep. Specifically at a and I would recommend taking these. CSE 121, uh, CSE 221, CSE 222. This can also be done your first semester of sophomore year, which is another thing I recommend. Yep. It'll say, do this, boom. Do it second semester, not. You do it first if you have that chance. Yep. Take it ahead. Don't be scared. Keep going at it, man, because companies like to see that. Exactly. They love to see that you're actually going off and trying all these things. Like if you know data structures walking in on a sophomore, boom. You're going to be set. so much more valuable set. compared to everyone else. Straight up. So, I mean, that that's my only real advice. But for uh, this video, it was just a simple like PSA for y'all. Yeah. Uh, nothing really more uh, I can really say specifically. But overall, at Texas A&M, I would focus on taking those CSE classes ahead of time. And if you're anywhere else in the world, in the US. Hey, these same strategies apply to you if you can. I think it would actually be easier for you guys because I don't know, I have not heard of any other school who has this general engineering first year where we yeah, can't do any of our yeah, major yeah, classes. Yeah, 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 this is specifically for Tim Mark. So yeah. you guys are gonna be in a better position than us. Even if you're in those type of schools, man, let me tell you something, get those classes done. Whatever degree plan they give you is simply a plan of classes. Make sure you got your prereq set and all that. After once you check it out, make an Excel sheet, go through it, make sure you got all the prereq set for that class take that class ahead if you can because it's going to be super valuable and uh, yep. any you other breaks you have if you're not doing a summary class to get those like pesky uh curriculum core curriculum classes out of the way i highly recommend you do some sort of personal project whether it be like making a website for yourself just like just like anything it doesn't have to be too crazy it doesn't have to be like these wix level websites but like something simple that you could say that you did on your own that you learned yeah like I, 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 like you just gotta, you just gotta do that. Just I mean, try whatever you want. Like it could be even a game too, like a mind, like a mind sweeper or like a snake game, something simple, and just make it, make sure it's fun for you too. Hey, you know, you don't have to. Like that, that's just something, man. If you're interested, exactly, go for it. You know, like me going into me going into college, I was like, I was like, yeah, man, like I'm ready to do engineering. But it was exactly. really like freshman year that I started like actually getting into coding, and it's yeah, it's uh, it's pretty fun. So um, there's not really much more to say. Sorry about uh, only us two being here today. <laughs> I mean, I know. I mean, we're we're the only two like completely computer science, computer engineering related. So I feel like we had more insight to give you. Shout out to my CS boys. Yes, and sir. Boys, we don't discriminate here. Hey, we have a life. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> anyway, uh, catch y'all later. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, like, stay tuned. Like. Comment whatever you want to see us talk about. How, how do you sure. like the format of uh, us two? Yeah, I'm so sorry uh, in advance. Not advance. In, for, for all the Zoom quality videos. Yeah, we that's rude. We're, we're trying to get better. <laughs> hey, we're still starting up here, man. It's a straight word trajectory up. Yep. So. Catch y'all later. Uh, see y'all in the next video.